in this module we will talk about the nature of bond which is formed between two carbohydrate monomers so let's look at this as we talked about in previous module the glucose atom when a glucose molecule when it becomes a circular molecule it can adapt two configurations the alpha and the beta configuration so alpha when two glucose molecules in alpha configuration form a bond they have a very different chemistry than when a bond is formed between a beta and an alpha glucose for example the starch or glycogen a molecule which animals and plants use to store glucose molecule it has alpha glucose molecules linked in alpha configuration whereas cellulose a material which is present in the wood in this material the glucose molecules are linked in beta bond so let's look at this bond how this forms let's look at this bond in more detail here we have on our screen alpha glucose molecule and we have a beta glucose molecule in the upper portion of the slide i'll point this out this is alpha glucose molecule and next to it is a beta glucose molecule we have already looked at the structure of alpha and beta how they are different in one case in alpha glucose we said the hydroxyl group is pointing downwards in beta glucose the hydroxyl group is pointing upwards so when this bond is formed between alpha and beta glucose a water molecule is removed a condensation reaction we have talked about that in our previous module a water molecule is removed and a bond is formed between two glucose molecules now the glucose molecule on the left up here since this molecule was in alpha configuration when it formed the bond with the adjacent glucose molecule this bond will be called alpha 14 it is called alpha 14 glycosidic linkage glycosidic linkage is basically the name of the bond between two carbohydrate molecules like we talked about when we were discussing protein molecules we talked about the bond between two amino acid amino acid molecules is called a peptide bond here the bond between two carbohydrate monomers is called glycosidic bond we have talked about bond between alpha glucose and a beta glucose now let's look at a bond which is going to be formed between two beta glucose molecules that is present in the lower part of your screen here is a beta glucose forming a bond with another beta glucose molecule it's the same process a water molecule is going to be removed it's a condensation reaction and a bond will be formed between these two glucose molecules in this case since it, the glucose on our left side this glucose was in beta configuration now this bond will be called beta 14 glycosidic linkage what is the difference between these two molecules in biology the difference between these two molecules is very significant the alpha 14 bond can be broken down by our enzymes however beta 14 bond is very stable and we cannot break this bond that is why we cannot digest plant materials which have beta 14 bond in them wood for example has beta 14 bond many grasses and many plant structures also have beta 14 bond let's look at the consequences of alpha and beta bonds in the polymers cellulose is also polymer of glucose molecules in this case the glucose molecules are linked by alpha 14 linkage glycosidic linkage as i have mentioned it is very stable and it is very hard to break this bond glycogen and starch they are both similar molecules there is relatively more branching in glycogen as compared to starch these molecules have alpha 14 glycosidic linkages you will also notice there is branching in these molecules in glycogen molecule depicted on your screen this branching is a result of alpha 16 bond i will highlight that bond on the screen here is the alpha 16 bond this allows the this carbohydrate this carbohydrate polymer to form branches and makes it more efficient to store energy now let's look at the graphic difference next time when you see wood 
you will realize that wood is made up of same material, same subunits as the roti you eat for lunch or dinner. The only difference is the type of bond between the two monomers. In wood, it is beta 1,4. In roti, it is alpha 1,4.